and we're going to bring out Mr. Daniel Mills, and he's going to do some stand-up comedy for us. All right. Daniel, come on out. How you doing, man? Feel great. Yeah, you should. I'm excited to be uh, here. So um, we talked a little bit backstage. Um, you're a dad like I am. Sure am. Yeah, so are you going to do some dad jokes? A little bit. No puns, though. Oh. No puns. Okay, yeah, it'll I'll be fun to it. tell jokes after a song that made me tear up back there. <laughs> hey, but, welcome yeah. to the stage. Know, right? Yeah, way to bring that up. Okay, so you got this, right? I got it. All right, let's do it. Give yeah. it up. All right. What's up, Mount Baker Theater? I'm super excited to be here. There's so much space. This is amazing. I'm, I'm usually used to performing on like small wooden pallets, <laughs> stolen from Home Depot in the dead of the night, like a, like a mom with a Pinterest problem. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too much of like a shots fired. I don't want to offend those of us that like eating cold oatmeal out of mason jars. But, uh, uh, so before we get going any further, uh, when my eight-year-old daughter is really, really good, I will let her pick a punchline for a set, and she got to do that. The punchline that she picked for today is, then the man had 2,900 farts. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to try and work that in, if that's okay with you. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, I just turned 34, which is a, it's not so bad. Getting older doesn't have to stink. One of the great things about getting older is you finally start accepting who you really are. Like, like I've come to accept the fact that I have an incredibly generic face. <laughs> if you don't believe me, you guys forgot what I look like, haven't you? <laughs> but it's okay. I'm fine with it. I embrace it now. If you ever wondered, hey, who drinks just plain club soda? People with this face, <laughs> that's who, that's who. This is the face that you start with when you're creating a character on a video game. <laughs> or maybe like the finished product if there was ever a video game about selling life insurance. <laughs> like with, with this face, people just bring you a side of mayonnaise at a Thai restaurant. <laughs> Cause they think that your zero stars might be a little too spicy for you. <laughs> but. But Facebook is getting a little crazy tagging me in all your photos. It's like, hey, <laughs> your roommate's boyfriend, <laughs> Dan Mills. <laughs> oh, yeah, the uncle you only see at Easter, me. Presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but I'm having fun with it. I embrace it. Uh, another part that I have come to just embrace is that I'm always going to have a hard time finding clothes. As a tall person, it's going to be difficult. I can't just go in an old navy or a gap, pick out a pair of handsome slacks and go pay for it. No, I got to go walk up to a chipper teenager at an old navy and say, hey, do you have these in a 36 inch inseam? Oh, hold on, let me check. Oh, fun. Looks like you're an online exclusive. <laughs> Look, don't, don't church it up, Amber. We both know I'm not welcome here. <laughs> but you know what, Amber? Before, I was looking down on you literally, but now it's figurative. <laughs> now it's figurative. And people, they try and be helpful. They try and give suggestions. They say, hey, why don't you try shopping at Ross? You can always find a good deal there. Yeah, thanks, Deb. Uh, I appreciate that. And don't get me wrong, Ross is great if you want to find a 2018 Milwaukee Bucks parka. <laughs> or a great deal on some jeans. And, but call me picky, but I would like my jeans to have both legs the same length. <laughs> and so, what, you know, people will suggest things like, oh, why don't you buy things online? They sell everything online. And they're correct. They absolutely are. But my problem with that is that I am a toucher. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't like the way that one came out. Let me, we'll let me clarify. Uh, for the record, I am the person that treats the clothing racks like their own personal petting zoo. I walk through racks of shirts like an Instagram model through a wheat field. I have to do that. So I can't just go shop online. And I thought all hope was lost. Until, of all places, I'm at the Home and Garden Show with my family, 
shopping for stamped concrete for a home that I don't even own, <laughs> when as if conjured by my subconscious, this small woman pops out from between two booths. Hey, do you have a hard time finding clothes? <laughs> no way! <laughs> I do. <laughs> Come with me. I look over at my wife for approval. <laughs> go for it, dear. <laughs> so we go on our own personal adventure. It's, it's through a maze of gutter cover salesmen in inflatable hot tubs until I'm led to a pop-up shop called Route 65, clothing for men over six feet five. What? Oh my gosh, guys, this is it. This is it for me. I walk in, it is my people. All tall men. I've never been in this situation before, but the funny thing is, I step in there, everybody's posture just improves. I step inside the door and everybody snaps too, like a scared meerkat colony. Because, <laughs> because if you don't know this, us tall men, we are incredibly competitive about our heights. We, we've always been the tallest person. If you don't believe me, think back to your fifth grade picture day. Teacher says, hey, line up by height. All of us guys are just jockeying for position, trying to get there. Then five foot six Becky Friedman, who had a growth spurt in fourth grade, <laughs> comes in and just emasculates all of you. <laughs> but you're, you're like 10, so she just emboisculates all of you. <laughs> so, so it's tough, but I walk in, and for some reason, me and the shop owner, the, the shop owner, he's very tall man, big old soul patch, and we got off on the wrong foot. I wasn't sure what happened. I go up to him and I say, yeah, I'd, I'd love to buy some jeans. What inseam? Uh, yeah, I'd love a 36. You're what we call a vanity 36. Oh, you don't say that to a tall person. No. <laughs> and so we start having kind of a little bit of a stare down. I look at the jeans, I say, yeah, I like how bedazzled they are. <laughs> They're adorable. He looks at me and said, are you even actually 6'5"? I say, you look like the world's tallest trumpet player. <laughs> he stares at me, I stare back at him, and then the man had 2,900 farts. <laughs> Thank you so much, my name's Dan Mills. How you doing? Doing great. Great. Great room. Good room. Yeah. Tall room. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm done. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> He's funny. <laughs> you did good, man. Thanks. Yeah, you got Thanks. my it's attention. Fun. That's and that's it's, a lot. It's fun. We're having a great right. time. Up I here. know. Look at all those people. Hey, those people need to sit down. I know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> they do great. They did great. You did great. Thank you so much. How do you feel? I feel fantastic. You should. I feel okay. Fantastic. Felt the love today. This is right. good. All right. Let's give it up. Let's, uh, let's hear from uh, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Swill okay. and see what he's got to say. Yeah, Fire you're away. all right. <laughs> it, it's really hard to do comedy. Like, it's, it's impossible. I, I, but honestly, I knew just by the way you walked on stage, seriously, that, I, that this was going to be fun. And um, you own the stage, and that is 99.9% .9 of of comedy is owning the circumstance. I absolutely, every time you use the word like, that, it, that, that, that it's like this, it killed. Okay. Every time, <laughs> you, you, you know how to create an image for us. I mean, the, the Instagram model thing, that was hilarious. Right? <laughs> all, all of those images I was right with every time, and that's not easy to pull off over and over again mm -hmm. at, in comedy. Thank and you. you did it. That was great. I really appreciate it. Yes. Chris. Well, all good comedians are really relatable. And all of your stories were incredibly relatable. I'm 5'7", and so I relate all the other ways. I was always the kid in the front corner row <laughs> in Little League photos because I was the shortest and always, always in the front there. So to be able to relate and be able to laugh because life is funny and how we live it, and for you to be able to pick those things... For me, it was really great. And also to echo what Swilkana mentioned also, 
when you walked out on stage, grabbed the mic, moved the stand out of the way, you took ownership of the stage, which was really great to see too. So thank you. Well done. Yeah, that was well fun. Well done. Ian. Well, Dan, that's a lot of farts. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so I'm curious. One, is Route 65 a real store? Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. And the guy was just that condescending. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why. I thought we were going to get along great. Uh, I always like to ask comedians or, or folks that engage in stand-up, how different is your personality from what you bring on stage? as I think some people create more character than others. Are you really as bland as you portray yourself to be? <laughs> <laughs> I, I may amp up, you know, the, the dorky dad vibe a little bit more than, than I hopefully am. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's all, these are all ripped from real life because I can't sell something that's, that's not true, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but right it's- Right on, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no Perfect. Nice, nice. How, how often have you performed overall? before getting to here? Uh, I've done about 100 sets. Holy You're bejesus. kidding me. Yeah. All on uh, Pinterest, um, Pinterest flats? Pinterest No, I got everything, <laughs> but you know, there's five-year-olds here, just wanna Fair, keep fair. Yeah, Full yeah, spectrum, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah but, but as far as there, there's been some real stages, some ones that are, you know, you're just standing in a corner of a well-lit bar where nobody really wants to hear you talk. Mm. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of lumps that you take along the way, but but yeah, yeah, I mean, I've been fortunately, we have a really good comedy scene mm -hmm. here yeah. in town. Mm -hmm. uh, there, if you go on Facebook to Bellingham Comedy, there's shows all over and it's, it's a really great way to just be able to explore. And if it's something that anybody here's ever interested in, it's, it's changed my life and it's made it a lot more fun, so. And are you actively pursuing this? Like one day will we see you with a Netflix Special. I would Ooh. sure love that. Yeah. Okay. I'd sure love that. I'm working that. towards it. All right. That's I'm great. super into that. One hundred percent. I've been watching stand up comedy since I was like twelve and they actually still used to have it on Comedy Central. Right. Which was amazing. So I know how hard it is to do at all. And then to be dropped into a show like this where everyone else is singing and dancing and yeah. having a great time. You're like, we're gonna bring it down and I'm just gonna <laughs> chat for a minute. It's I don't know that you intentionally meant it to be brave, but I think it is really brave that you are yeah. here doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was also done really well. So congratulations. Thank you. Hopefully your family doesn't tease you too hard. To tonight. No, they're, they're pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Are they? Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yay! Yay! I love it. Hey, Kevin, I, I, and I wanted to actually add one thing, too. The punchline idea is super original. I had never heard that before. <laughs> yeah. Do that every time, because yeah. I was waiting for the punchline yeah. all the way to the very end, and it was really great. So. And it surprised me, honestly. Yeah. I, I was, I, normally, I would be like preparing that. And the other thing I want to say is, is that you have a phenomenal voice. Oh. Like, your Thanks. voice alone. It's nothing um, like your face. It's a character. <laughs> You could do radio. You could do podcasting. No, absolutely. I He's would, got a great voice. I, I, yes. I think you've got mm -hmm. uh, something very special just in the voice alone. You've oh. got a, a tremendous Thank you. Talent. That's like the thing I'm most insecure about. So thank you so much. Well, it's very relatable. <laughs> I appreciate it. So in other words, you have a face for radio. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so everybody, there you go. Let's thank give it up so for Dan Mills, everyone.